TR7550, stroke 74 pal, death to Sister Mary Thriller, part 1, take 1. Folded. Well, aren't you please? Hmm. Now get out of here. You'll get me excommunicated. I'll um, see you later. Yes. Hamburger. Oh, uh, no thanks. The bag's bell's all right for them, old Joe. Hey? Have you seen Mark Fields? No. Sticky, have we located Mark yet? Well, no, he's not in his dressing room. Well, try the bar. Don't forget the bar. We just have to shoot out a sequence, that's all. Look, uh, Joe, hadn't we better shoot out a sequence? All right, we'll find him. And when you do, just keep him away from me. I might just punch his head at just before. Just heard, yeah. Of course, Mark wasn't able to talk himself. They just took him straight off to hospital. This is terrible. How badly was he hurt? All right, my lovelies. Well, we now have problems. You have problems. You all heard about Mark, I suppose. Mm. Well, it's just too bad, but we'll have to work around it somehow. First thing is, we'll drop scene two. What? And then the writers are going to invent some reason for keeping him out of this altogether. Now, it'll mean working late, I'm afraid. Dickie, oh, no, will you check with the crew? See if it's OK oh. with them? It's but OK I, with you, I, isn't I, it, my loves? Yeah. Works.
You're late. Oh! Larry, look. Three surprises in one day are enough. Told you I'd see you later. Three? Mm. Mark Fields. Mm. But he's been mugged. Mugged? Mm. How? I mean, where? I don't know the details, just that he was, that's all. Bad enough to take him to hospital, too. But that's why I'm so late, you see, that they wouldn't be able to... Use I react to with mixed feelings. Why? Always had the feeling Mark fancied you. More than somewhat. Out. Out. I'll give you ten minutes. Penny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll bring the car around the front. I'm sure you're going out right now, this way. Come on. What's going on? Sister Mary. I found him outside your door, miss. I didn't mean any harm. I just wanted to see you, that's all. To talk to you about the fan club. Your fan club. Come on. Fan club? We're starting one devoted to you. The Sister Mary fan club. I'm sorry about this, miss. Uh, there's been a mistake. I invited him. You, miss? Uh, sorry, I forgot to tell the main gate. Well... Come in, won't you? Well, Mr. Um. Rook. Charles Rook. I can't tell you what a great honor it is. Oh, you mentioned fan club, Mr. Rook, and that's an irresistible phrase to any actor. Tell me more. The formations all agreed. The membership, everything, all we need is your blessing, so to speak, Sister Mary. <laughs> My blessing? Your patronage. To make it official. There's a magazine planned. Club premises lined up. Premises? How big is this club? The membership is... is substantial and loyal. It's the Sister Mary fan club. Just for me? Oh, you're deeply loved, Sister Mary. More than you know. Oh, but I mean, it's crazy. My part in the show is... Well, it is important, I suppose, but it isn't big. Certainly not a starring role. To us it is, Sister Mary. To us you are a shining star, an example to all of us. It really is crazy. No. It's fact. We've been preparing layouts for the official magazine. We haven't been able to decide which one yet, but we thought that you might make the final choice. You really mean it, don't you? It isn't a joke. No, I... I wouldn't joke about something like this. No, of course not. I'm very flattered. I think you'll agree. You see, it, it, it won't really mean anything unless you officially say yes. Of course I agree, an actress wouldn't. Um, by the way, I do wish you'd call me Penny. That's my real name, you see. Penny Stacy. Yes, I prefer Sister Mary. <laughs> oh, it's marvellous that you agree. There are a lot of things I want to discuss with you, of course, and um, I'd like to send you some of the proposed brochures. Do you think I could have your home address? I don't see why not. It's... Um, 4B, Streetly, Towers. You the president? Secretary or what? Both. Until we can have formal elections, of course. I can't tell you what this means to me, Sister Mary. Do you, do you know I've watched every episode? Yeah. I've collected every bit of information about you. Um, but to actually Mr. meet Rook. you... Mr. Mr. Rook, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to have to throw you out. Of course. 
I'm sorry. You must be tired. No, it's just that I do have other things to do. tell the story, remember? Anyway, I hated the place. Hmm. Two very good reasons. One, the story I was supposed to be covering didn't happen. And two? And two? You weren't there. Someone with lousy timing. Sister Mary. Mr. Rook. I'm sorry to disturb you so late. But I saw the light was on. Well, if it isn't number one fan. Uh, well, you'd better come in. No, not if you're busy. Uh... Not anymore, we aren't. It's all right. Come in. Um, Larry, this is Mr. Rook, Larry Turner. Hi. How do you do? Don't you play one of the monks? A monk? <laughs> uh, well, not exactly, Mr. Rook. Larry is my fiancé. Fiancé? Mm-hmm. That's right. But well, that can't be right. Nuns aren't allowed to marry, are they? Ah, my fiancé, Mr. Rook. Penny Stacey's. <laughs> well, you mustn't make the mistake of mixing me up with Sister Mary. No, I suppose not. Well, what was it that you wanted to see me about? Some details on the magazine. But it doesn't matter now. Well, now you're here, you might just as well discuss whatever it was. No, that I'm you sorry. I, should, I shouldn't have you... burst in on you like this. It's all right. It was unthinking of me. I... It's all right. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mr. Rook. It... an image. Someone he doesn't even know. He's got to be loose somewhere. A lonely. Compensating. I think he's a sad man. I hate him. What? He interrupted us. <laughs> mm, yes, well, I was about to anyway. Early morning for me tomorrow and I have lines. To learn. Okay. Phone for a cab. No, no. I'll get one outside. But tomorrow night.
I think that the emphasis is all wrong in the scene. But it's my scene. Ah, you have the lines, but the scene is about me, my character. I really don't think that Joe understands that the camera really should pan round. She's game. She's what? Penny. I didn't think she'd turn up today. Why ever not? Her fiancé. Ah, yes, of course. But of course she had to. It's the duty of the real trooper. The show must go on. Well, whoever thought up that phrase is an idiot or a sadist. if you wish. No, I'm due on the floor. Well, there's nothing I can say except uh, if you need a shoulder. Thanks. Uh... I'm making a stupid fool of myself. No, go ahead. Cry. It's better if you cry. I wish I had. After my wife died, instead I turned to the bottle. Tears would have been better and cheaper. I haven't even asked you how you are. Oh, I'm okay now, except for this and a, a few bruises that I couldn't show you unless I knew you a whole lot better. It's crazy, I came all the way from New York to be mugged in London. Well, what was it, a gang or what? I don't know, it's all very hazy. I, I think it was just one man, though. Hardly anyone believes me, though. The story is that I got drunk and fell down a flight of stairs. Oh, how could they? Oh, I guess I deserve it. I've tied on some good ones these last couple of years, but uh, not recently, and, and not that night. Anyway, I better let you get ready, but uh, if there's anything, anything. You got the best scene this week. Tony's ripping mad about it. Then that is my last word. I have nothing more to say. Nothing whatsoever. Okay, studio, that's fine. On we go. Precious little to say in the scene, either. Supervisor. Uh, Dickie, can we set up the scene 12, please? Oh, Penny, my love. Thank you, dear. Oh, Tony, you've finished now, haven't you? Thanks very much. You can go now. It's ridiculous, giving the whole weight of the show to that girl. She has no style at all. Bye, Tony. I'll see you tomorrow. I tell you, it's about time she was written out of the show altogether. Now I must guide you by punishing your body, by wrecking it. It's 
the only way to get at the soul. Pride must be driven out of you, Sister Mary. Oh, Superior, please try to understand. You must I... find humility, and to find humility, you must be humbled. See if he's CJS Television, can I help you? Putting me through now. I'm afraid the producer isn't available at the moment. Can I take a message? Hello, CJS Television, can I help you? Yes, sir. Well, I'm sorry about that, but after all... Well, it is only a programme and I don't... Sir? Not cool. Saints and sinners, tell Mother Superior to lay off Sister Mary or else. I thought so. Can't concentrate on anything? Everything seemed useless, no ray of sunshine anywhere. I've been there, remember? And this is no answer. him out of my mind. He was so alive. Yes, I know, and you loved him very much. You'll forget him. You have to, Penny. He's gone. You have to face that. The sooner the better. That's the brutal truth. That's why I'm here. This is no time for you to be alone. What you need now is noise, people around you. Believe me, it's the best possible thing. Mm. Look, Penny, it won't help you to forget, but it might help you to cope. Dickie's throwing a party. Mm. Dickie, our floor nice. manager. Well, he wanted to invite you, but he thought it would be in the worst possible taste. I have very poor upbringing, so I don't have any taste. <laughs> might do you some good. Maybe. You'll give it a try? Good, good. Come on. I'll get a cab. Go on in there and get some clothes on. Well, get on with it. I'm sorry. I, um, I didn't mean to frighten you. The door was open. It's all right. No, the last thing in the world I wanted to do was, was frighten you. I, I knocked. I called, too. You look very pretty. Oh, thank you. I prefer you in your real clothes, though. Uh, 
You mean the nun's habit? Mr. Rook, I have told you before, you Penny, really must... I've got the cab waiting and... Uh, Mark, this is Mr. Rook. He's a great fan of mine. And Mark feels you know, of course. How do you do? Yes. The American priest. Hmm. I'm glad you decided not to let the lusts of the flesh get the better of you. Lusts uh, of the... You, he means the show, Mark. You remember? A week or two ago, they wrote it so that you were taking a very unhealthy interest in Sister Mary. Yes. I hated that. Hated it. <laughs> Mr. Rook takes it all very seriously, don't you? Hmm. Of course. Hmm. I haven't missed a single episode. Not since the fifth week. <laughs> fifth <laughs> week? Well, that's when you join the show, isn't it? That's right. Sister Mary missed the train oh. and had to accept a lift from that terrible man. Oh, I hated him. George, you mean? Yes. Do you know, I really couldn't stand him. It was the way he looked at you. Well, he isn't in the show anymore. Yes. Poor George, he, he was dropped after he broke his hip. I know. Bit of bad luck, he just stepped off the curb and the car... It was fate. God's will, perhaps. Yes, uh, look, uh, Mr. Uh, Rook, I think it's about time we all said goodbye. Uh, we have a party to go to, don't we? Yes. Party? We'll talk some other time. Hmm? Oh, well, I, I didn't come here to talk. No, well, not just to talk, I've, I brought you this. Oh, thank It's a very you. fine one. I'm not uh, religious, but um, the man I bought it from assured me that it, it was a very fine one. Yes, it looks like an antique, very old. Thank you very much. And you'll be able to use it. In the show? Yes. Well, not just then, all the time. Uh, sorry, <coughs> Mr. Rook, but like you, I'm not very religious either. What? To my shame, I'm not much of a church girl at all. <laughs> but you're a nun in the holy order. Ah, that's just in the show. I have told you. If it makes any difference, I mean, if you don't want me to have it. No, I... No, I... I bought it for you. Please keep it. Well, we certainly do find them, don't we? <laughs> All wound up about saints and sinners. Still, harmless enough. I suppose so. So I Ah, thank you. It's a darn noisy party. It's a good job I'm your next door neighbour, there would be some good place. Especially if I hadn't invited you, eh? He had to. I feed this thing for him whilst he's away. By the way, if you hear about my car. Who hasn't? Tires slashed, absolutely ruined. I tell you, if I could lay my hands on whoever did it, I'd kill him. I'm sorry, I got cornered over there. It was a mistake, wasn't it? Bringing you here was just a big mistake. The very worst, I told you. He didn't twist my arm, you might as well. Sorry, Mark, I'm just not in the mood for a party. The guy saw that ten minutes ago, so I called a taxi to take you home. And it's here now. Ridiculous. Marvellous. Listen, it is, it's a super party. Yeah, but not for you, eh? Well, look, I'll see you home. Come on. No, no, no. Penny. Look, there's no sense in us both being miserable. Stay on, enjoy yourself, honestly. I absolutely insist I'm going straight home, take a pill and get some sleep. Well, then at least let me see you to the cab. Hey, that's the host prerogative. Come on, Penny, love. Look, uh, Mark, why don't you go and shut up that redhead over there? I don't know her name, but if she goes on drinking the way she is, we'll have to close up the place before midnight. <laughs> Bye, love.
quite wrong to build up these minor characters. It's much too much for these young artists. Well, it's much too much for you, don't you, Tony? Oh, nothing of a shock. Right now, you're beginning to get jealous of Betty Stacey. Oh, what rubbish. How should I be? You need to develop as a character. And there's some key scenes between you. She'll do very well, won't she, now? I thought she was doing especially well, especially this... Dickie. Dickie. Uh, Dickie, what happened? Where's Penny? Penny? Yes, Penny. Where is she? She got into the cab. Well, then what is it? Well, then some crazy... He must have been raving drunk. He just drove straight at me. If I hadn't jumped, I, I need a drink. Of course you do, Tony. But, but Dickie, are you all right? Yeah, I think so. I've cut myself and broken my glasses, but I'm just more shaken than anything. Well, did you see the driver get the license number? No, I didn't get the number. I told you another second. If I hadn't jumped, I didn't get the number. Come on here, Dickie. Yeah. Thanks. Um, look, I, I'm sorry. There's no damage done, just... just my glasses. Not our night as far as cars are concerned, is it? Well, first of all, my tyres and now this. Unlucky coincidence. Yes, coincidence. Hurry up, Penny! That'll be lovely, thanks. OK, just coming. Good morning, Sister Mary. Uh, you see? It'll be in the show today. Well, there won't be any show unless I get a move on. I wanted you to be the first one to have this. Number one, volume one. Oh, it's incredibly professional. It must have cost a fortune. It's worth every penny. Ooh. I doubt a top star rates anything as grand as this. Only the best for you, Sister Mary. The very best. I don't know how to thank you. I do. The clubhouse. Penny, come on! Oh, just a second. What do you mean, the clubhouse? Well, well I, I told you we were getting premises arranged. Yes. Well, we're, we're, we're cleaning them up tonight and hoping for an official opening on the 10th. Oh. You can make it. The 10th? Uh, now, look, Joe's going purple and so am I, so come on now. Yes, all right. Can you come to track 19? Uh, you see, what did I tell you? Give her an extra scene, and she thinks she's the star of the show, keeping us all waiting like this. All right, studio, now settle down, please. Penny's here, Nadja. <laughs> oh, that time. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm late. Everybody, I... would you like to stop and me? What? Happy about this. Oh, my love, we're disgusted. I, I know, but I, I, I've had enough time to think about it. Now, I know I'm supposed to be a hard man, but I am a fair one. Certainly not a brutal one. Uh, well, you just say the lines as we rehearse them, okay? All right. It's right out of character. Oh, Dickie, come on, for heaven's sake, let's get you shot off the road. All right, all right. Okay, Studio, let's have a bit of quiet. Dick now, Julie, put that sandwich away. This is a final rehearsal, Studio. Stand by. Ten seconds. Just a minute, if you don't mind. Five. Thank you. Four. Three. Father, it has to be this way. It has to be. I shall leave you alone for a few minutes. But remember, it's Sister Mary's decision. Mary? You're too young to make a decision like this. My mind is made up. Then I shall have to unmake it. No, Father. You're my daughter, for Pete's sake. I am me, my own person. And you're not going to sway me. Twist me. You're not going to ruin my life the way you ruined Mother's. OK, studio, that's fine. We're going for a take. Stand by for a take on that, studio. Right, all right? Yes, thank you. Fine. That wasn't so bad, was it? Well, on the contrary, I thought it worked extremely well. I especially enjoyed slapping that little... Ah, congratulations, my dear. Very nicely played. Very nicely. Thank it's you, Tim. Nice share. Mind your own blast of this well. I hope I didn't hurt you too much with that little slap. I should hate to think that I... Fan club? The Sister Mary fan club. 
Well, must have taken quite a bit to produce it so glossily. Got a lot of fans that are rooting for you, Penny. Good night. Good night, Julie. Good night, Good night Mark. Oh, Tony, don't worry. I'm sure somehow, somewhere, there's someone who loves you, too. I should hurry. Probably hordes of fans waiting outside to mob you. Good night, Tony. Good night. Oh, Tony, do us a favour, will you? What? Oh, well, i got to work late, so uh, uh, will you feed my cat for me? I hate cats. Oh, come on, you've done it before. It won't take a minute. Look, the food's in the cupboard and you can leave the key under the mat. No. Tony, uh, didn't I read in that last interview you gave that you were very fond of animals? All right. Cats, I'll feed you in a minute. There they He's a bore, I know, a terrible egotist, but who would want to do that to him? It's horrible. Horrible. Poor Tony. And poor Dickie, finding him like that. Dickie? How What's new? Any... Well, he's... he's still in a coma. Transferred to the intensive care unit. Intensive care? There's a chance he may not make it. He's lost a lot of blood. There was such a lot of blood. What happened? Well, it was obvious he interrupted somebody burgling my place. You know, if I hadn't worked late, it could have been me. A burglar? I mean, that's the police theory. Oh, yeah, of course. What else? And now what? A show? Well, it's obvious Tony isn't coming back. There are meetings going on now. Scriptwriters are sorting it out. Your father is to die in a car accident. It's going to throw all the schedules out of gear. Including Tony's. Yeah, I see what you mean. What, uh, what hospital is he in? St. Benedict's, but there's no point you're going to see him. He won't even know you're there. Well, all the same. Yep. Well, I'd better be going. Could have been me. Mary, I'm sorry. I'm desperately sorry. How badly was he hurt? Very badly. You must face it. He may not recover. Father. Don't cry. No, please. Don't cry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I did it for you. I was so brutal to you. Hi, time for a drink? Yes, but remember, there's no visitors after eight. How is he? Well, he's still in a coma. 
three days now, but there's still a chance. Oh, look, hold this. Hello. Sister Mary. Oh, hello, Mr. Rook. I said I'd call. What? Well, you haven't forgotten, have you? The 10th. You said you'd let me know. The 10th. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. I had forgotten. But you can make it. The official opening, you will be there. Uh, well, you see... Oh, I've spent so much time, effort, getting it ready. If you didn't turn up now, it would be a disaster. Um, Mr. Rook... Everything what... is arranged, every detail. Uh, what time did you have in mind? About four. You can make it. Oh, well, you've gone to so much trouble, I couldn't possibly let you down, could I? No, that'll be all right, Mr. Rook. Um, four o'clock. Thank you, Sister Mary. I'm so grateful. I'm sorry about this. I gather it's your pet nut. What? What was that? Um... Four o'clock, Mr. Rook? I'll pick you up myself and drive you there. Yes, fine. We'll immortalize you, Sister Mary. You'll be as you are for ever and ever. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, look, I'm awfully sorry. I've got to rush now, but thanks very much for calling. Bye. Do you know, he's going to immortalize me so that I stay as I am forever and ever. <laughs> Detective Sergeant Moore. How do you do? Well, his breathing's easier. Well, it might be my imagination, but his breathing seems easier. You family, I? No, no we're, we're just... Uh, we're friends. We all, we all work together. Yeah, saints and sinners, yeah. I've seen you, your sister Mary. Has he... Well, has he tried to say anything yet? Oh, no, no. Not a word since he was brought in. Probably die that way. Yeah. Without a word, I mean. Coffee? No, I think I need a drink. Scotch. Sit down. I'll get you a drink. Oh, Mark. When I saw him, I, I kept thinking of Larry. Well, so did I. But for a different reason. Too many coincidences. Thanks. A few days before it happened, somebody slashed the tires on Tony's car. There's Larry. Tony, and me. Well, I know it's old ground, but then again there was George. George? You remember, his hip was broken. It was a car accident. Well, accident or not, the result was the same. He left the show. Penny, I think someone has a grudge against the show. That's ridiculous. Is it? Think about it. But, but who would want to? I mean, I mean for what reason? I don't know. That's the puzzling part about it, but to every puzzle there's an answer somewhere. Somehow I think I have it. That tune you can't recall. Maybe. Look, you're tired and upset and I'm just agitating you. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Penny, don't pay any attention to me. I'm... I'm just crazy, that's all. I think that, that mugging must have rattled my brains. Thank <laughs> you.
Mark, did you forget something? Mark. There was a car waiting for you. Oh, car waiting for what? To kill me. Four o'clock precisely. I see you did as I asked. <laughs> well, come in for a minute. Thank you. I must say I feel pretty silly going out into the street in these clothes. No, no, the car's right outside. Oh. It is only right that the Sister Mary fan club should be opened by Sister Mary. As she is. As she really is. Excuse me, Mama. No, about 30 minutes. I looked at so many places before I found the right one. We've bought the freehold. Good. Then you'll be able to make a profit when you sell it again one day. Oh, we're not going to sell it. Hmm? No, it's a permanent monument. That was very important. Permanent. Forever and ever. <laughs> you'll change your mind when the series comes to an end and Sister Mary is no more. That won't ever happen. You ready? Yes. thoughts about a nine-letter word meaning retribution. <laughs> Mind you, it'd have to start with an X and end with a Q. Oh, I got all the others wrong. Which wouldn't surprise me. I'm terrible at these things. Mr. Barn, can you hear me? Perhaps hurts, hurts me. Who hurt you, Mr. Barton? Did you see him? Voice. He spoke and you heard his voice. Is that what you mean? What did he say, Mr. Barton? What did he say to you? <laughs> oh, away. Keep away. Away from S what? Away from who? Sis. 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 Mr. Barton. Mr. Barton. Narrows it down a bit. Keep away from my sister. It wasn't burglary, it was revenge. Either he or the fellow whose flat it was. Mucking around with a woman, she had an angry brother. Yeah, I'll check on that right away. No, no, wait a minute. Hmm? He didn't finish it. Not my sister, but Sister Mary. That's what he was trying to say. It was the same thing with me. Stay away from Sister Mary. Uh, you're not making yourself clear. It was him. And he killed Larry.
We planned it all very carefully. It's exactly like Sister Mary's domain. The convent, the courtyard, everything. Do you like it? It's different. It's perfect. Would you like a glass of sherry? Oh, thank you. Where are the others? They'll be along shortly. I wanted you to myself for a few moments. You can't blame me for that, can you, Sister Mary? She, uh, she hides a key here somewhere. Oh, here it is. That's great. She hides a key, then tells you where to find it. I'm a friend. Now, statistically, if a girl's gonna have trouble, it'll come from a relative. Or a friend. I forgot she she went to open up some fan club. Nice if you remember that before we came rushing over here. Well, I'm sorry. It's just that ever since I made that connection, my mind has been... Uh... Look, is that where she's gone? Fan. Film fan. Pop fan. I just remembered that the word fan is an abbreviation. You know what for, don't you? I told you I'm no good at crosswords. Well, it's short for fanatic. The obsessive desire and involvement with the public image. Keep her the way she is forever and ever. That's what he said to her. What do you suppose he meant? I don't know. Look, uh, if he is responsible for what happened, it's because he cares for Sister Mary, because he wants to protect her. So there's no cause for panic, is there? All I know is he sounds nutty. Nutty people are dangerous. They can switch, change course without logic. Secretary Rook. President Rook. No address. The printers. It's awfully cold in here. It used to belong to a butcher. Cold storage. Show me the rest of it. With pleasure. I designed it all myself. Then had it made up. Oh, that must have cost quite a bit. Hmm. When my mother died, she left me comfortably off. Enough. Poor mummy. No, I do miss her. Uh, what's around there? I'd rather you... I was saving this until later. The grand finale. I don't know that I should let you in, but I suppose being police... You said there's every need. What do you mean? It's obvious by all these pictures that he just... He just wants to protect her. He's crazy about her. These aren't Penny. These are a girl we've been looking for for 18 months. 18 months she's been missing. He's in a fantasy that could take him anywhere. Where do you suppose he's taking her? This... 
doesn't appear in the show anywhere. I know. Well, the writers would kill you, you know, if they knew you were changing the storyline. The show's one thing, but this is real. Shouldn't the others be here by now? Others? Yes, the other fan club members. Yes. I always intended... I couldn't share you with anyone, Sister Mary. I've had to. And I hated that. But not anymore. I won't have to show you anymore. Take a look at some of these, will you? This could be it. Purchase of an old coal store. That's not ten minutes from here. He said he was going to immortalize her. What? Invoices. For embalming fluid. I won't harm you. I couldn't bear to break your skin. The drink will make you sleep. It's just a triple dose of sedative, that's all. I take them myself when I can't sleep. Thinking of you. And then once you are asleep, I'll suffocate you. You won't feel a thing. I've worked it all out for myself. You see, my mother was wrong. I can work things out for myself. Well, I've had to. There were too many, you see. There were too many people. Knowing you. Touching you. Abusing you. I couldn't deal with them. I couldn't deal with them all, could I? I got the idea from a magazine. Then I sent off for all the books, all the materials. I'm sure I can do it. It's this place, you see. It's perfect. So cold. Constant cold temperature. That's what they do to saints, you know. Embalm them. Preserve them forever. You see... See, I'm, I'm not religious. But then, I mean, neither are you. You're not religious at all. But I do know goodness. And you are good. There's such a lot of badness in this world. Not enough good people. That's why we have to hang on to them, don't we? Preserve them.
to alone for a few minutes. Remember, it's Sister Mary's decision. You're my daughter, for Pete's sake. I am me, my own person. You're not going to sway me, twist me. You're not going to ruin my life the way you ruined Mother. Thank you.